Hey everyone, welcome back to Tower Mystic 1111. This is going to be a timeless energy update. So let's see what's the overall energy of your connection. What's currently going on? What's happening in your connection? What's the present energy? We'd see. Also, if you wish to book a personal reading with me, then the link is provided in the description box below okay let's see all right we have show the world the real you um full moon in aquarius so for some of you you could be dealing with an aquarius and um i feel probably with this card showing up um your person could be hiding their true feelings from you or they could be you know um not telling you uh the whole truth they might be you know not showing you the the whole picture so um some of the feelings could be hidden here and that's what this card talks about that whatever is being hidden whatever you're holding back should come onto the surface right you need to show the world the real you and um aquarius is also the sign that is sometimes you know aquarians come off as cold people or you know a little bit emotionally detached because they um operate from their minds so this could be the energy that you could be um getting from your person right now that is the energy of the connection but it's just that your person could be holding themselves back they're not being very uh, forthright with their feelings they're maybe too much in their mind right so that's there and then we have you're very close to achieving your goal right so um gibbous moon so we have like a almost like a full moon there and whatever i feel that you guys started um together your connection your relationship it's something is about to come to fruition okay something is about to come full circle here and uh, you're very close to achieving your goals so whatever goals you've shared for the connection whatever goals you've set for yourself you know whatever you have in mind towards your person towards this connection i feel all that is coming um, it all that is going to be true so yes it's just that you know somebody needs to really um show their emotions you know bring some emotions in this connection you know bring in some love so let's dive into the tarot and see what's the present energy of your connection How, what's your person's thoughts and feelings let's see what are the present thoughts and feelings of your person towards you what's their energy towards you what's currently going on okay oh my god I have these four cards coming out together so I have the world card I have nine of pentacles definitely um, an ending has been there recently we have seven of wands and we have the death card yeah so a huge huge ending a major ending is what I'm seeing here and now you know somebody is really <clears throat> your person i feel they're again quite resistant towards you you know this is their energy right now with the seven of wands they're being very very defensive you know probably they're um kind of resisting this connection trying to push you away but being very very defensive because there has been an ending here right but how they feel towards you is that you know they see you being unaffected <laughs> seriously they, they see you as being unaffected because for them you're still you know very much um in your um you know very much in your cool composed 
calm self and they admire you you know they admire you for who you are so for them you're just kind of you're unaffected you you just not bothered whatever has been going on probably you are uh even busy in your career you're attracting your wealth you you know you're you're shifting your focus to your finances you're taking care of that you're taking care of other aspects of your life um you you're looking good you're taking care of yourself you know you, you just look so unbothered and unaffected and still your person is being so defensive but i feel they could be watching you um you know doing your stuff they could be they could they, they're just so curious to know how it's all being being uh, effect, affecting you right so that's what your person is doing but when it comes to um you know moving forward towards you or even um removing this this barrier um you know it's it's like they're being defensive they're not going to do anything about it yet that's the that's their current energy but i see an ending has been there recently you might be dealing with um somebody who's got a strong saturn in their chart and i feel ever since the saturn retrograde started i think it started in the early july uh things have been shifting in your connection you know it's it's it has led to an ending here because saturn also represents it's the planet of karma so sometimes there are karmic debts we need to pay off before the connection can progress to you know a deeper level so i feel that's what you guys have done there's wrapping up of a karmic cycle here and you know there has been an ending maybe distance could also be one of the reasons maybe you guys have a physical distance between the two of you um but you know yeah you could also be dealing with a scorpio right uh, capricorn aquarius energy here again but definitely an ending right and then we have the queen of pentacles yes <laughs> so um i feel that you know money could be an issue here right it, it's it's not the only thing but definitely a big issue a major issue maybe you are uh you know career oriented maybe for you money is important maybe for you finances is important maybe your priority was that <laughs> right uh maybe earlier it wasn't like that maybe earlier your person was your priority you gave them a lot of time your attention uh your love and affection but now ever since they've closed this cycle ever since they've walked away you have been probably busy you know in your uh in your work uh in 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 leveling up in your career right it has made you really sincere towards your finances towards your career you're becoming stable and probably you're attracting a lot of wealth maybe you you're having those ideas maybe you're setting you're shifting your priorities and setting your goals for your work and your career because that's what i'm i'm seeing here right for you guys uh for you but your person here maybe they they thought that career could be important for you maybe uh you know maybe financial there's a difference between financial statuses between the two of you um so that was the reason you know they are kind of um holding themselves back they're not willing to give this connection a try so uh maybe finances is what i'm seeing here could have been the cause of ending of this relationship maybe you were financially way better than your person and they were still kind of struggling uh in that aspect of your of their life so now you're trying to be patient you're trying to really you know take one step at a time and you're looking in a different direction here right whereas your person um they are still having some hard blockages right they they are not able to um really let go and surrender and not able to basically trust this connection so they're kind of pushing you away and of course there has been an ending recently with the world card and the death card right now will is this the forever ending or is this just a transformation that's we're going to see um when we shuffle the cards next but for now i feel there has been an ending and you really don't seem to be affected so much maybe your person could be as i said they could also be watching you uh, not expressing themselves but definitely uh, very much curious to know what you're doing um you know how how it's how all this has been affecting you but they are definitely not ready to move forward yet they're not ready to uh you know lower their guards and trust this connection or make a comeback so for now your person is just kind of being very defensive right so let's see 
with the queen of pentacles you could also be dealing with an earth sign here taurus virgo capricorn so let's see what's going to be the next action of your person towards you what's going to happen in this connection next wow we have the ace of cups i'm so happy okay let's see what's going to happen next what are your person's next action towards you what's going to happen next in this connection is this connection going to progress or is this ending for good let's see okay wow wow <laughs> we have the queen king of pentacles we saw the queen of pentacles earlier so this to me is a soulmate connection okay i'm not kidding you this is a soulmate connection and i feel as much as you are not affected your person is also you know kind of shifting their focus on their finances right now they're kind of becoming workaholic so you're busy so you both seem to be busy in your respective lives right even though this connection has ended for now even though there is a huge huge wrapping up of a cycle here you've learned your lessons and you know you've you've closed this major karmic cycle between the two of you in your connection um and you know but it's it's like you both are not affected by this because you both seem to be very much focused on your on your finances you are a workaholic they are a workaholic and i feel you know um it's time that you both kind of establish yourselves as individuals in your career uh maybe you both are busy earning money you know you're you're making progress in your physical and material world so really i don't really see they're doing the same your person is doing the same and probably they're also you know with the king of pentacles i feel they're becoming much more grounded right they're becoming much more grounded more serious um their their mood is kind of you know um I mean they're thinking about commitment but I feel that your person could also be you know thinking about the fact that they need to gather uh their finances first they need to establish themselves financially their finances should be in order you know maybe so that's the area they're more concerned about right now and maybe then they can you know offer you that commitment right so that's what they are doing right now and we have the 9 of cups we have the 9 of pentacles we have the 9 of cups so definitely 9 9 is like approaching towards an end you're almost there kind of a card right and then we have your your way close to achieving your goal so i feel there is there's about to be a wish fulfillment that's happening here your person definitely feels very happy <laughs> you know when they think about you you make them happy this connection makes them happy and they know that you know you are their wish fulfillment because you are a perfect package and that's how your person sees you they admire you you're beautiful they feel like you're their wish come true and this is what your what's making your person so happy they could also be even drinking <laughs> um too much and um, you know just thinking about you day dreaming about you but with the 9 of pentacles there's a sense of joy and happiness uh, in this connection right now and i feel even you are kind of you know catching up those those vibes um then we have the queen of cups again water energy cancer scorpio pisces right we have the strength card here and then we have the 8 of pentacles So bottom of the deck we have the 6 of pentacles again money money is definitely um an issue here but i feel that it's also you know the 6 of pentacles also talks about balance so but i'm seeing a lot of pentacles here which tells me that your connection you know something is happening in the connection physically in the material world and maybe there has been an ending emotionally between the two of you uh like you know a cycle has come to an end but um as we speak in your physical world in your material world in relation to your finances i feel you both are very much focused on that and you know it's also about just not about finances but i feel it's also about you know about commitment because we we see the king of pentacles here we see the queen of pentacles and both these energies are very very grounded in reality they they are two serious people who are ready who are willing to work upon the connection who are willing to work upon the relationship but the problem is i feel the queen of cups 
all right now for some of you i feel this could be a third person here you know of i don't know somebody outsider someone outsider who's trying to influence your person this could also be a mother figure so i for some of you i feel this could be a person's mother trying to influence them uh, or somebody you know trying to come in and you know manipulate the other persons and that's why this you know your person is kind of acting weird and you know they they pushed you away because this person made them push you away this person kind of created a little bit of misunderstanding between you and your person so i don't know if this if this kind of resonates with you but for others of you i feel that you know your person intuitively they they you know they feel this connection with you but it's just that they're not you know able to acknowledge that they're trying to push those emotions away that they're, they're maybe they know that you know you were you were too sensitive before but now you have also you know um balanced your emotions and now you're not displaying so much of sensitivity or you know care and nurturing towards your person you have kind of um re restricted all those emotions right and that's what your person truly miss about you about this connection and they kind of feel intuitively drawn towards you right <laughs> but again they're not giving it much of a thought you know they're not giving their intuition much of a thought and they're trying to really stay away from those intuitive hits right um but i feel it's it's almost about gaining that strength and courage so for now i feel like i like i said before you know strength card again you could be dealing with a leo or somebody with a strong leo in their chart but i feel with a strength card again it's about self love so right now i feel the focus um in your individual lives is you so you are trying to be independent you are trying to love yourself you are trying to uh be courageous and you know um just kind of focused uh, on your individual lives you know on your finances on your career and then it's almost like you are working together to achieve this in your physical world right because i do see that this is a connection that requires a lot of effort effort time investment so it's not like you both uh, i mean although there has been an ending here and still a lot of defensiveness <laughs> but i feel that you know and and somebody is definitely holding back i feel that this could be your person this could be your energy as well because you also seem to be unbothered so definitely there there is somebody who's holding their feelings back they're not showing their true self but then it's also like you are willing to work for the progress of this connection right you want to, you are willing to put in the efforts and that's exactly what you both are doing and and at the same time i feel you're busy uh, in your careers in your work life uh working on your projects and you know making money and stuff like that so it's really it's not like it's it's you completely heartbroken with this ending but i feel um for now it's just kind of a temporary shift in your connection where things had to end because for you guys to really shift your focus towards your material world and once that is settled i feel that this connection will definitely pick up again you know so let's see um and with the six of pentacles i feel there's going to be balance again and a lot of money though i'm seeing here but yes i mean the bread crumbing that was there in the connection is going to come to an end definitely with the six of pentacles so let's see the messages from your person what do they want to say to you what are the messages from your person let's see Okay, we have I'm tired of crying and hurting over you. I want to make love to you. Then we have I still have your pictures on my phone. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate the lessons you taught me and I want to hold you. All right. So 
those are the messages from your person and that was the energy update for you guys let me know in the comments below if it resonates or not please do like share and subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell and i'll see you on your next one thank you so much for watching